Good morning everybody, it's Sunday the 18th of December, it's a bit dull outside at the moment, I don't know what the weather's planning to do later, but the sun's not poking out yet, I've just made my first co coffee of the day so that's very lovely, and before I do anything else I'm going to open my ovens and start with this one. I've got a name label on it. Oh, that's pretty. That reminds me of Holly Crown. Legacy Fibre Art Merino Nylon, unknown colourway. Oh, well, it's very lovely. Oh, I do like that. That's really pretty. See that? Oh, I'm so looking forward to getting all of these in my blanket. Oh, this is a bit of a weighty one. And do we know what's in here? <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> yeah. My, <laughs> one of my absolute favourites. A jump. This is like um, a solid piece of, um, what do you call it? Caramel. Hard caramel covered in chocolate. And this was the... Um, this was one of my favourite things to have as an after school treat when I was younger. Now then look at this. Oh this, oh, this is be oh this is the same fabric as I had the other day. With the musk. And oh look. Oh it's big. Oh. Oh. Now this isn't gonna go in my blanket, in my quilt, I don't think, because the designs are very big for it, and it's too sweet to cut up like that. I wonder whether to make a project bag out of it, or something quilted but on a bigger scale, because I don't want to lose the impact of it. It's so cute. I can't get over how lovely these little mice are, look. That is beautiful. Thank you, Davina, so much. And the little crusted snowflakes as well. So lovely. And um, let's find 17 on Paula's advent calendar. You can see everything but 17. Ah, there at the top. Uh, uh, that's because I'm looking for 18. What a wally. Oh, it's the squirrel. goodie today. Ooh. That's nice and delicate. I'm not sure. Hmm. Don't think that's one of mine. But it's lovely. Really delicate. And then we've got a bounty. Mm -mm. And ah, oh, the most darling little pine cone. And I love these so much. They're so nostalgic. They remind me of um, one of the decorations that we have from Dad's childhood in the 40s and early 50s. So that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Paula. Right, now I've got four fins left to make for this axolotl. So I'm going to go and do that. And I'll be really glad when it's done because it's really bothering my left hand now. No more amigurumi for at least another year, I'd say. <laughs> I'll show you when she's done. Just finished. <laughs> it is very, very cute. 
That was a nice quick make, but I'm glad I don't have to do any more amigurumi for a while now. <laughs> I hope that the recipient likes it as much as I do. Hello everybody. It's been a busy day again. Don't I always say that every day? <laughs> so yes, you saw that I was finishing the axolotl this morning and then I decorated some biscuits, just dusted them with icing sugar and sparkles because that's all I had time for. Uh, and then we went to Dungeons and Dragons, went to play D&D &D this afternoon, Ivy and I. Uh, then I came back and I've been cleaning the bedroom, which is why I'm laying on the bed with no covers on it. So um, they're just drying at the moment. And while I'm waiting for them to dry, I'm going to make my hair orange again. <laughs> it seems as though every single time I'm making a vlog series, I'm, there's always a point at which I um, record myself mid-hair dyeing process, which makes it seem as though... I do it all the time and I don't. Actually, the last time I dyed my hair was during Vlogtober. So it's really, really overdue. And you can see how much regrowth there is and how pale it is faded to on top. So I'm going to do that. And whilst it's curing or processing or whatever it is you say for hair dye, I'm going to put the decorations on my little bedroom Christmas tree. Because now I've cleaned up in here, I feel like I can get them out. I've broken out in a lovely patch of... Uh, acne on my chin that's always fun so i'm going to um do that i'm going to take my nail varnish off because it's all chipped i don't know if you can see really but yeah it's chipped and nasty so i'm going to take that off <sighs> uh, and then once i've done that i'm going to when i've had my once my dye out and had a shower and got my dramas on i'm going to snuggle up in bed i made a cup of that um that cranberry pie tea last night and it was the most delicious thing I've drunk in a long time. It was gorgeous. So I'm going to make another cup of that. And I have now finished all of my gift making. Uh, so tonight I'm going to absolutely revel in working on my, um, my Christmas sock. <laughs> my Christmas light sock. Uh, and watch some vlogmases and hopefully get a bit of an early night because it was I struggled to get to sleep last night it was about half past one before I finally dropped off so I think a decent early-ish night is in order if I can get it right let's go and do things Make this tree magical and fairy-like with the little trimmings that I've got to go on it, including this little angel I made whose hat is falling off. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to put these little tiny lights on it and hopefully they will still work. Oh, yes, they do. Ha -ha! Rather typically, I'm ready to get in bed, but the laundry is not dry yet. <laughs> uh, it's nearly there. I've just popped it on for another half hour. Um, and then I shall be able to pop down when I finish my drink and grab this, the bedding and put it on. But while I'm waiting for it, I'm going to enjoy my drink and knit on this butte and watch some of these buttes. So thank you very much for watching today and I will look forward to seeing you all in the morning.